Sight from Tom Likas. On this uh, clip on the YouTubes, it's called uh, Don't Give Up on Your Dreams or, or Follow Your Dreams. And uh, Likas dissects his uh, relationship with his dad. And the beauty of it is that it's direct and clear. When most people would have shamed, no man, I had the best dad ever, I had the best mom ever, I had the best parents ever, no, no, my family was not weird like that. And when he states that his father had three or four jobs, hard working man, that like his, that Tom would uh, follow him like a puppy, follow him to work, um, be with him at work because that's all the time that uh, would be available to him. <coughs> but remembers also that his father would come home and would want to be alone, would want to have his dinner in peace and quietness and uh, turn on the uh, forget box, the television, and uh, watch TV for a while. Then his father gave up the uh, job, or gave up his dream of becoming a, uh, I think a sports announcer, and uh, something else. And uh, people, uh, you know, for me, they, for myself, they do ask me, when are you going to have kids? Man, should I have kids by now? You should I have your baby mama? Should I have your girlfriend bring her by the house, bring her over here? Um, we could all have barbecues together. We could all uh, go here and there and plan this and do that. And I think... Uh, like if you want to have a wife and kids or a husband and kids, awesome. If you want to stay committed to that. But me, if, if I can admit a point where um, that like it's me, that a lot of people do not want to acknowledge or say it exists is the uh, disappointment of a parent. I thought you said we were going to go to the park, get ice cream, help me with my homework, study, <laughs> help me help me get to college, teach me right from wrong, show me how to become stronger, and or things like that, not just limited to that, but things like that. And uh, before you know it, uh, the parent isn't there, or the step-parent, or the grandpa, or the grandma. But I, I'm putting the blame on the parents here, the finger at the parents. And no, I'm not holding anyone not accountable for their choices and actions. Not at all. But... If a, if a first grader picks up a meth pipe because it copies the behavior of the mother or the father, can we say, well, you know, it's the kid, that first grader that should have uh, learned better, should have known not to pick up that meth pipe with the meth in it, <laughs> and smoked it. He shouldn't have, uh, uh, he should have had his own free will and known better. And there'll be people like that. Well, it was the kid's choice. I'm like, all right. Uh, make a note. All his kids, keep him away from the other kids. But I have rabies, fleas, tuberculosis, HIV, and uh, worst of all, the social justice warrior mentality. So keep them away from the from the kids who have hope. And and yes, if I did run into p 
people like that and they had kids, I would tell people, keep your fucking mutts away from my mutts. Because I do think that uh, not just the disease is contagious, contagious, but stupidity. Low thinking, small thinking. But uh, like I said, I had said that uh, that's not what he wanted to do. He didn't want to dis have a kid to disappoint. I thought that was a beautiful thing. I don't have any kids, but I'm doing a gut check here that it would be priority to discuss with the kid, to tuck them in at night. To uh, decide whether I can leave the window open for a fresh breeze in, of course with the mosquito netting. But not be, oh my goodness, I have my palms sweaty because, oh my goodness, is it, are the, is it locked? Is it uh, whatever the exterior security bars on? Are they secure? That neighborhood. And, uh, and discuss with the kid, you know, how was your day? What did you do today? Was it effective? Any questions? How did you grow? What did you learn from that? Enough that you know, it may inspire a dream. Enough that there's confidence in the tangible and abilities. But not to the point that they sleep in fear and doubt. Because I, I think, I believe that whatever I do is not um, extraordinary at all, not even talent. If anything, it probably could be, if anything, above average focus, uncommon focus. That, that's it, no, nothing else. And if you think that uh, I'm probably exaggerating, go buy coffee somewhere, groceries, go fill up your gas tank. Um, and to look around the people, look around the people giving you the customer service, bagging your groceries, um, checking your groceries getting the number for the um, gas pump if they want to be there or, or, or even if they're there and someone will make the excuse no but you don't understand and we had it this rough that rough and um, I don't buy it I don't um, I think uh a lot of people believe that the name of the game is to see who could die with the most um, amount of toys. And uh, not to question that. To question that would be not normal, not correct, not right. But yeah, that likest thing definitely hit me, man, to just uh, not have kids so that you don't have to disappoint them. Because then, also, if you've never fulfilled the person that you could have been or be, could have become, that thing that you wanted to do, what do you tell your kids when they have that moment of desire? of a vision of a future. Yeah, son. Yeah, daughter. That's a stupid thought. Do it like I did and quit. That there's doubt. 
It's impossible. It's not for you. I didn't do it. That means you can do it. Wonderful. I think Homer Simpson had to say something like that to Bart. <laughs> I think, I think. But Tom Likus. Recommend you check him out. 